What's good, y'all, yeah, man? It's your boy, Red City Boy 23 coming to you guys with another video today. But today, we're going to talk about something different. You know, I know them new tools came out. We got a video coming out for that tomorrow. Let you guys know, you know I me, mean? my opinion on that. I ain't a big fan of it. But I honestly think they did that tools thing because of, you know, people repping up so damn fast, they're trying to slow people down. And, you know, they're trying to make Pro-Am a big thing, so I guess they're trying to get people to move over to walk on. That's my, you know, my thought on that. But anyway, I want to talk about the best player build. But this is my opinion. This is what I think is the best player build. You know, um, everyone, I don't, this is my opinion. The reason why I'm saying it's my opinion is because people are like, they ain't the best player build. So-and-so said this is better than that. And you could do this, you know what I mean? This is my opinion. You may agree, you may not agree, you know, it's cool, whatever you decide. But let's get right to it, all right, man? So this is the best player build in my opinion. I'm gonna tell you the good and bad, all right? So I made a 6.8 point forward. I haven't been streaming, I haven't been uploading because I've been in my career grinding. As you can see, I got my grand bands. I got Acrobat, Relentless, Teardropper, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Deep Range that I. Difficult shots, limitless range, mid range that I tireless score, ankle breaker, HOF, diamond, flashy, and live city pastor, pick and roll maestro hall of fame. All right, hustle rebounder, you want to get that because you can help on the boards a lot. It is a grind, it is a grind. Do not, do not, you know, it is a grind. Don't sleep on it, but it's worth it, definitely worth it. Chase down artist, pickpocket, one man fast break, you know, and then the badges that don't matter. They do, but they don't. Alpha dog enforcer. Expressive microwave on the core code spark plug. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the good thing about this player is the fact that you can basically you're bigger. You can you can attack the rim. You know, you can attack the rim. You can grab rebounds. You can play better defense because of the length on your player, depending on how, how long you make his arms and how tall. Um, the bad thing about it is. On defense, his defense is great for, you know, intercepting and, you know, like, you know, when someone's trying to shoot over you, it's good. The only thing I do not like about this player is the fact that um, the lateral quickness isn't that great. It's like a 65, but what boost is a 70. Um, so it's not the greatest, which kind of sucks. But if you know how to use your play and work around it, then it's better. But these are my attributes for him so far. I'm not done with him, but I upgraded my um, my layup and dunks, my mid range, my three point, my agility, my strengths almost done, my rebound and playmaking and defending, and my shoot off dribble is. Eh, I ain't really care about that because people shoot off dribble is when you do fades and shit, like, you know, normal, you know, uh, like, pull-ups and shit like that. And I don't really do that. I don't like taking dumb shots. It's not a dumb shot if you're a shot creator. And some slashers could do it, too. But that's what I went. Um, and you also, the one reason why I made this player was because I have a 6-3 playmaker, as you guys know. And on my 6-3 playmaker, it's cool having a 6-3 playmaker. He's a lot quicker. He's faster. But... There's a lot of ups and downs. Like, this, like, all right, he's quicker. You know, his shots, like, well, my shot is a 77 on this guy with boost. My shot's a 78 on my playmaker with boost. Um, But my dunk's, like, uh, my dunk's pretty good on this guy, too. Um, The reason why I say that is because if you're 6'3", and you're playing, and someone, like, say you're playing in Pro-Am, you got someone, or twos, or whatever. Say the dude 6'7", or, you know, 6'8", like this guy. He's gonna come right here and just bang and just like you know just bully the fuck out you and you you know how the defense is in the game especially the paint defense it's terrible so you're gonna get banged on every time pause um but besides that you know having a six eight is is a great benefit because on the six eight when you're using a six eight you know um you're longer and you can actually like you know when someone's trying to get past you you can bump them you get your strength up uh besides that. The only other thing that I have to say is you can you can be in the post, man. When someone's little on you, you know, you can just bang on them the whole time. Pause. I got it. Bruh, come on, Red. Um, but you can just keep doing it the whole time, just dunking on them, just finessing them, you know, and it's easy. And then when you grab boards, too, you can help your guys out on the rebounds. If you're not getting rebounds or if they're getting hoarse, you know, so it really, it really benefits you. I just like him because he's a beast. And then you can get your small forward dunk packages as well. So it's a lot it's a lot more fun when you could do like more dunks and shit like that. I don't highly recommend if you're like a pro am player or someone who who plays competitively and you don't want to lose, 
I don't recommend the flashy ass dunks, you know, because then you might get blocked. You know, with all the cockbacks and all that shit, you know, it's it's not, it's no, I'm not a big fan of it, you know. But that's what I wanted to make. That's my opinion on the best player build so far. Um, I'm gonna drop a couple of videos that you guys are definitely gonna like and be interested in, especially for you people who want to get your upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. I also have, um, I've been grinding my career. I go to every facility, every single one. That's how I, you know, I got him to the 96 already. Um, where the fuck is it at? Damn. Oh, here we go. So as you can see, all right, my, my three, my three point is, um, I mean, my foul shot is max. It's really a 99, but that's what it maxes out. But when I go to free throw, it'll say 99, you know, um, when you do that, you're sitting there and you're, um, what you got to do is when you got a team practice, you go through the free throw line, I'll say shoot free throw, and it'll give you a plus one for your free throw. A lot of you know that, some of you don't. I got, also I had offensive consistency. For to you for you to get your offensive consistency, this is basically like unfazed last year. Um, it helps you stay consistent in the game, get more greens. Um, when you go to a team practice, it pops up like every two or three practices. You go in there, and when you go in there, they have, excuse me, when you go in there, they have, uh, you go up to the coach. It's one of the guys in the yellow. He's usually on the right side to stand at the half court. You go up to him, he'll say dribble. You don't even got to pass it. You can fell it, you plus one, and you got that. That's how you get that. Um, my hustle, that's a 99. For hustle, you're always going to get hustle or stamina when you go into the, the gym and you're going to workout room. You're always going to get hustle or stamina once you do four or five things. What I do is I start, I start from the right side up. I do the agility, do the jump do the, the weights in the back, and then I go to the middle of the bench. And every time I get to the bench, I usually get it a hustle or stamina, or even if it's the the um, the trash can jump. Um, it's for you to get your reaction time up, it's on the wall. The little the wall, you want to you wanna sit there and do the whole, with a beep, beep, and then, you know, you sit there and it tells you to keep touching, whatever, and then you do a little icons where it's like X, circle, square, you keep touching, and that's for that. And like I told you already, stamina, stamina is exactly what hustle. You either get one or the other every time. So that's my video on the day, man. Tell me what you guys think. If you have any questions about, you know, the plus ones and stuff like that, hit your boy up in the comment section. I'll comment below and like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys. We're about to hit 66,000. appreciate the love. I'm going to be uploading a lot more since, you know, right now it's been a hard time for me to stream. So YouTube is really going to be the way for me right now. And it's, it's really hard with a lot of stuff that's going on with me. But besides that, you already know. Lay! Lay your eyes down if you know if you can't find me. That means your jump shot is broken.